Hey guys, Kai Pettifer here. Today's vlog is going to be all about GoPro mounts, and what, in my opinion, is the most versatile of them all. Okay, starting off this list, I will simply show some of the more useful GoPro mounts that I will bring with me on a trip. Now, these will not be useful for every trip, but in general, these are the ones that I find the most useful. Starting off with the basic GoPro selfie stick. You see it has the, uh, the GoPro rings to attach uh, it in like the waterproof housing or the standard housing. This is great if you're just going on a trip and you want to vlog with a GoPro. The next one is this flotation device, which again, if you're going to vlog, is good. And also really good for if you're near water, so if you drop it, it floats. Obviously it doesn't float on kitchen table. Next up is the suction mount. However, this old mount is kind of garbage, and if you watch my recent vlogs, you know I have this mount, which definitely doesn't suck. Uh, and this is going to be my main one. Not just because it can hold a GoPro, but currently I, have a, I currently have a ball head on it, so I can put my normal camera on this too. This one's very useful. This one's really tiny, but really useful. It is basically just the quarter inch to GoPro mount, so I can put this on any tripod I have. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could put it on a quick release plate and use it on my mega tripod. That'd look pretty funny. But this is always good to just throw in your bag. It's so small, it'll barely make a difference in what you're packing, and it can really save you if you need one. And finally, the humble hat mount. However, not for its use as a hat mount, but as its use as a mouth mount. This is what, I, in my opinion, is the most useful, and I will explain why. Starting off, the hat mount is obviously meant to be mounted on a hat. As you can see, it fits right on the brim of this hat, and is pretty securely on there, not going to come off easily, and useful for POV shots. However, more useful for POV shots would be using it as a mouth mount. Putting this part in the mouth and having the GoPro hang here, right here. The next part of this mount that makes it the most versatile is the fact that it's really compact and you can just push it up against the back of the GoPro and it doesn't take up much extra space. While, say, a more useful mount would be the suction cup mount, but it's pretty hard to get this thing compact, right? Alternatively, you can just simply bend this thing down, find your desired angle, and use it just a bit like a tripod in a pinch. Also, alternatively, you can just bend it back. If you just want the GoPro, you can set it down like that. Lastly, and this one's fairly obvious, it is pretty easy to just hold on to. It makes a good grip to hold on to. I use this as a grip, basically either holding it upside down and pushing with my left hand and pulling on my right, vice versa, or just holding it like this on the Niagara Falls videos. And it's really good and it feels really secure. Alright, those are all the uses of this thing. Now we're going to go out and I'm going to see how many of these I can use in just a standard filming experience. Alright you guys, we are out of the hospital now. Uh, an interesting place to make a montage, I know. But basically, my dad here slipped on our deck last night and like cut his back really bad on a chair and they were just worried that he might have a broken rib or a cracked rib or a bruised rib or something to do with his ribs. <laughs> so, we're here. Uh, but he's fine though. Uh, anyways, next up we're going to the mall. Right. Yes? Cross Iron Mills. Yes, Cross Iron Mills. Uh, I need some new stuff for school, mainly shoes and footwear, uh, footwear of sorts. And then we might as well also get dinner there, or lunch, or, I don't know, or lupper. I'm gonna get lupper there. Right, anyways. I also brought, I also brought this thing, so we'll see how well this thing works.
right, you guys, we are here at the mall. Uh, as I said before, we're just looking at shoes. Okay, so next up, dinner. Although I didn't realize it, Sean just pointed out that I actually haven't eaten anything today. And it's like 4 p.m. I don't know how I forgot to like eat today, but I did. <laughs> 